<sighs> What's going on everyone? Welcome to a Saturday in the life, day in the life, whatever you want to call it. This is going to be more of a commentary, just talking over clips of the day. Because I don't really do face to face stuff when my family's home because it's too noisy. This is me introducing the video, welcome to the channel, hope you're well, hope you enjoy. It is currently 6.28, I've been up for about an hour now. Getting some inspiration to make this video because I know these videos can be testing to a creator because you have to record everything within the day and sometimes I forget to do that so that's what we're gonna do. Let's move on and start the commentary with the clips of today. So get a drink, get some snacks. It's not gonna be a long, long one, but you know, chill with me, vibe with me. So let's start on with a day, tidying up. Got a few packages coming. It's just, it's just a bit of a chill day really. So yeah, let's get going. So after I got all the cleaning done, my four-year-old daughter Harley decided to wake up and that was a perfect time to have some morning snuggles and then get her some breakfast and get her settled. So that was a perfect time as well for me to grab a coffee and obviously a good coffee always starts in a good mug. With the coffee secure it was time to head back to the office to get some work done and i know it's early in the morning but i like to wake up get stuff started and then i can just focus throughout the day on getting things ready and know sort of where i'm going so it's 6 47 at the moment so i decided to sit down and start writing down all of the things that i need to get done through the week and what content i need to actually prioritize and also on tiktok shop which ones need to be uploaded first compared to last and then we can move on and start editing But then of course my son Finley decided to wake up so I had to get him sorted as well but then it gave us the opportunity to have a nice little morning snuggle with him too ready to start the day. And once he's all settled we can put him into the little racing car and he can go on his way while Harley sits there watching her kids YouTube. Now it's seven o'clock so this is a perfect time to start some editing and I had a quirky writer keyboard that I needed to get done and you know I've been delaying it for so long and I'm such a procrastinator and I hate doing editing so I try and hold off for so long until it needs to be done and this was one of those things that was at the top of my priority list and I had to get this done so that's what we were doing today that was the main goal and I think it turned out all right it obviously is up on my YouTube so you can check that video out it's pinned but it's now currently 7.52 and it's time to let some actual sunlight in because I had the light on but also I want to say thank you for 14 1500 subscribers you're absolute legends and now it was the time to wake the wife up with a nice cup of tea in the morning we're almost done with the edit but there's still a few little bits that i need to tweak but instead it's time to procrastinate and do hide and seek with my daughter Hi, then. Ready or not, here I come. Daddy! Daddy! Ah, I counted, I do hide. But then after that, she wanted to paint her nails, so I got it all ready for her so she could sit there relaxing and 
get a little pamper session going but i got back on with doing some work it's currently 10 17 now my wife bought some pepper pig cookies so that's what they're going to be baking together And while they were doing that, I was in the bedroom trying to get little boy off to sleep because he has a nice little nap in the morning. Success. And due to it being the morning, it was time to get changed. So I just went for a standard everyday casual fit. Obviously my hat as well. And then a jacket just to keep the chill off of my shoulders. This is a bit chilly in the UK at the moment. But then we were straight on to some more b-roll shots for the the quirky writer keyboard and then back to the editing having a little bit of CSGO on the bottom there which was actually live on TikTok which was quite surprising and while editing Harley came in with a biscuit gorgeous vanilla flavored as well so now it's 12.14, little man has arisen and I've got my edit done and rendering ready for the upload. I also received a load of free samples from TikTok shop, which includes an adventure book from Up, a personal cordless clipper set, which I do use in this video, a couple of CBD pads and some mushrooms apparently help your mood, your focus, your sleep and all of the above, and then a lint roller. But after opening all the packages, we put on Shrek and ate some tuna pasta bake that the amazing wife made and it tasted grand as always. But then it was time for some product photography of the quirky writer and I think these shots came out fantastic using one for the thumbnail as well. It's currently 129 now and as you can see I did get a notification about a package on the way. So I'm excited about that. But then I head down to our little stock room that we have here and this is all supplied through TikTok shop. And we also got some tango mango some tango orange 24 bottles but instead i go for the monster to give me a little bit of a midday boost i also tried to do the little one hand crack here that 505 podcasts do and uh, i think i failed because i've got a crater in the side of the can that's a thumbs down for me but then it was moving on to the thumbnail editing for the video here and it was just trying to sort of figure out what colorways look best and what writing i think in the end it turned out pretty well you could see the the product in the middle and the writing at the bottom for when it was uploaded to youtube so i'm happy with it let me know what you think in the comments i always try to shrink it down to around 16 percent because that's the size that youtube mostly use for thumbnails so if you can see the writing and the product then you are on to a winner but once it's all done it was time to upload the video and just get it scheduled because that's what i mainly do most times i just have the video ready scheduled in the background i don't have to think about it i get all the name the description all the little links and things like that ready and it's just so much easier to manage and then you just let it do its thing and come out but once i got the video done and uploading it was time to give myself a trim and i wanted to try out these little trimmers from tiktok shop here so, you know, they turned out all right. I did cut my ear at one point because I went a bit too harsh. The top bit came off and yeah, we're not going to talk about it. No, I think it turned out okay. They'd done a pretty decent fade, but then it was time to jump in the shower, get all the extra hairs off, put on some new clothing. And I think, yeah, I kind of like it. Obviously, it could be better, but obviously I'm not a hairdresser. But luckily, the parcel arrived after I had finished my hair and had a shower. And this parcel I was anticipating, this is the Drunk Deer A75 Pro full aluminium case. Now I currently use the Drunk Deer G60 which recently came out in Kickstarter and they said they were going to send this one out for review. I was ecstatic. So basically this keyboard here is a magnetic switch keyboard similar to the Wooten and this one is just glorious. In the full aluminium case with the red strip at the back and all the other bits with it we'll get into in the review when that comes out but it's such a clean keyboard and the RGB 
is my chef's kiss. Now I have changed the keycaps for some pudding keycaps. It looks even better. But after a little unboxing, it was time to get back to some works. I was sending over all the photos to Majority Audio for one of their products. And then I did look over and saw it was 4.55. So it was time to get the kiddies to sleep. Finley went down like a treat. Harley was in her room relaxing. And then Harley went to bed around half five. And then it hit 6.54 almost seven o'clock that means one thing on a saturday night it's time to get on the games with the bro so we jump straight into some cs2 get a couple of good games in there i did get an ace which unfortunately i didn't record but we ran around the back of them and just annihilated the whole team it was it was insane but then after a couple of games we obviously wanted to change up as you can see it's 9 33 so we jumped on some valorant to end the game at night we played till around about 11 o'clock i believe we had a couple of good games but i think we did end up going back to csgo because valorant was just a bit too laggy for one of our friends connor so we jumped back on csgo got a couple more good games and then it was time to hit the hay so we played until about 11.40. My wife had just finished doing her acrylic nails, so it was perfect timing. And that meant it was time to switch everything off, settle for the night, and get into bed. Just want to say a huge thank you to everyone that has watched this video all the way to the end. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like, hit the sub, hit the notification bar. Capture, create, captivate. And I'll see you all in the next one.